Hey fellow Assassins, what's up? It's Robbie with Upworld Games and we've got brand new footage of Assassin's Creed Unity from a recent live stream event. You guys can check it out in just a moment, but remember, we've got an extensive backlog of Assassin's Creed Unity videos right here on Open World Games, so check it out. Here we go guys, enjoy. Is that like a, is that like an underground movie I was in I didn't know about? I, I, I'm sorry about that guys. Sorry about that Twitch, but I'm excited to be here. Thank you so much Jessica. Uh, to my to my to my right over here, I'm still trying to figure out left and right. I haven't gotten the hand the hang of that. Um, are some amazing developers, Philip and Alicia. What's going on, guys? What are we going to look at right now? What do you do for the game? Tell me what's up. Well, I'm a producer. Alicia is a team lead AI uh, gameplay. Uh, we're going to be showcasing Paris today. So uh, first off, we'll start in the open world, uh, and, and we'll be walking through. We'll get questions. We'll answer questions, and, and basically, we want to tell you about the game. Awesome! Awesome! And uh, like the game's here, right? It you is. feel good. Oh, How does that great. feel, right? Like so long you've been working on this title, had to keep it in the secret, but the secret's out. You get to play it now, and we get to show it to the world. And what is it you're gonna be showing us? Just like a bunch of awesome things, shanking, kniving, stealing a fruits. Bit of all I don't know. Of that. Yeah. All of uh, it. But yeah, we're gonna start off here. In yeah, Paris. let's just get right into it, man. And, let's take a uh, look. Yeah, take a little bit, uh, a look at the open world and some of the gameplay we've got going on. So what's amazing is the fact, like, just the landscape that you see uh, of Paris. It, it's literally, it's your playground. Yeah. Uh, you, you get to see, like, we're on Il Esté, Notre Dame's right in front of you. This is kind of the center part of, wow. of Paris. No, nah, man, uh, look at that. It's so deep. It's so vast, man. It's huge. You see, like, uh, the, all the landmarks in the distance. You see, like, okay, I, I want to get there. I can cross I can cross a city. I'll cross through, through different districts. All districts have different type of architecture. Yeah. Uh, so, so you really get to live uh, what it was like in a certain way in Paris back then. Right. So we'll get to it. Yeah, let's get in great balance too, by the way, just to be able to stand up on that cross and do that. That's the criminals. So this time maybe I'll try and intervene. Bam. Oh my God. Because if not, then he would have killed yeah, yeah, the yeah. civilian. So. And what we're seeing is more of a Oh, you're actually having citizens oh, really? oh, geez. that are helping you out as well. So yes. there, was, there was people that were armed next to you. They saw you take action, and they decided to uh, basically help out. So it just right. turned out like yeah. a civil war right in the middle So I could street. actually run off while the allies take over the rest for me. Okay, good. Well, those are your friends. They're just willing to pull out a sword and help you out. It's a more gritty combat system, right? It is. It's a lot harder, a lot more challenging. Uh, we decided to... For co-op, for for a better experience, we feel uh, to to make the uh, the combat a lot more challenging. You have to upgrade your equipment, uh, which we'll see later in the show, uh, to to be able to do more damage, to receive more damage. But uh, you won't be able to take on 15 enemies at a, at the same time right, like we right. used to be able to do. It's uh, after you get three or four guys around you attacking, you got to start talking about thinking about vanishing and saying, okay, well, I'm an assassin. My approach is not necessarily deadly dead on. I can. Uh, very good players will be able to do it, but there's a lot of management uh, that needs to happen if you do so. Right, right. That's good, man. But it's also kind of cool to fight 15, 16 people all at once, too. But I understand you guys have to change it up. It's definitely cool. Uh, you'll get shot because <laughs> okay, you'll get shot. people have weapons yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and they have guns. So, so that's, the ch that's actually the danger. Right. The, the element is we, we really increase the damage done by ranged weapons. So if there's many people, they'll go to ranged weapons, and then they'll start shooting you. Bullets have changed everything. And we also decided to put like a, a much bigger focus around stealth. Uh, we basically added for the first time uh, to a lot of requests for, from fans, we added the stealth button so, so you can crouch and, and just walk, be less uh, noisy. Um, you also get detected less easily. You'll have to be closer before you get detected. Uh, you have the possibility to go and cover. Uh, to do uh, on props and, and do corner kills, uh, to, to have a proper approach to those situations within the interiors. That is really cool. Yeah. You always make looking like an assassin so cool. I'm always proud of that. Like, man, just walk around my hood up, so walk around. What's up? We've got all these different dif districts, right? And each district should have a really different vibe to it. So sometimes you're going to see people like right over here. You've got people dancing in front of cafes, people that are really celebrating. And then you might go to different areas of Paris where there's going to be a lot more beggars, people that are like out in the streets. And then you'll have some of these events as well, which are like 
okay, give money to the poor, right. you'll have like more fights that break out. So it really depends from one area to the other. Uh, it's so cool. What's going on? There's a, what yeah. is happening over here? So this is a huge crowd here. Um, They're stacked in front of La, la Conciergerie. Uh, la Conciergerie was kind of the last stop before you were going to go uh, get the head, your head chopped at uh -oh. the guillotine. So, so this was the action right here. Everybody's really excited. It, it was the last prison. That's where right. you were. Uh, you were actually, like I said, your last stop. They had to pay rent to, to, to be housed in the jail. That's wait, wait, funny. wait, really? Yeah, to get a bed. Otherwise, so you wouldn't wait, get a you're bed. you're a prisoner, and you have to. And you pay. had to pay rent. Yeah, but people didn't and, have and money. And so they didn't have money. So I want to see the one guy that had. So they were the, sleeping on the floor. They were sleeping on the ground. So wait, the difference was you got a bed. Yeah. Oh my God, that's kind of insane. But what's what we have to keep in mind is that people that were losing their heads back then were nobility, so they had money. So oh, so what else <laughs> beyond just the bed? Did you get food? They they were fed properly okay. before getting before executed. getting their head chopped. You off. always want to have your belly full before getting your head chopped off. I mean, I would hope everyone knows that. Yeah, I mean, it's the most comfortable part of it. It's the most like okay, well, let me get my head chopped off. I better use it. I better use I, it. I better use it as much as I can. So I just keep eating. And you'll see in the streets sometimes there's areas where it's not as densely populated and then you'll see those places where there is like 500,000 sometimes of people and this was really a decision of seeing what made sense uh, where are the areas that should be really densely populated um, and what areas should be more empty so that it feels a bit more sketchy while you're walking through cool. them as well yeah. so at night you'll see less people during the day more people uh, in the areas where there's markets during the day there'll be tons of people going from one market stand to another um, and sometimes you'll be walking the streets and there's just thousands of people that are there and it's just navigating through this like cluster of tons of activities around you. You're just walking around showing us everything that's happening in this. You, this is incredible because there's just so much going on at all times. Was that a challenge? It definitely is because you want to have something that's like we're always aiming to have a living and breathing environment to have people like they have a purpose there they're not just aimlessly walking around so so to be able to provide that feeling uh it, it requires a lot of uh of work obviously and yeah. then you, you throw in people like this that are starting to fight each other uh so so that has to create a reaction on the people that are around how do they right. react so these guys were scared they looked at it they yeah. backed out i don't uh, think anybody i wish you guys just make one person laugh <laughs> that would, that's not going to happen, but man, that's crazy. There's some animals as well. Is that, yeah, <laughs> you have so much. Is that an authentic French dog? Is that a French bulldog? I'm not sure if he barks in French. So. I don't think so. <laughs> but that as well, in terms of the language, this was something that we consciously wanted to do where in terms of how they speak, if there's something that's gameplay related, then that's all localized. So for us, you'll hear the voices speak in English. But anything that's ambient, we really wanted to make you feel like you're in, you're in France. So all the ambient conversations, they're all done in French. So there's a way that maybe we'll hope players will get to learn a little we'll bit about the language bit. as well. Yeah, I'm just amazed that every corner has something unique and different going on at all times. and. And seamless interiors. Yeah, seamless interiors. That's, that's like so cool. One out of four houses has an interior that you can visit. Some of them are like a little bit old and damaged. Like this one, it, it wasn't really someone that was rich that lived there, most probably. Uh, other ones are more like uh, classy. There's going to be uh, taverns. There's going to be shops. So there's definitely a lot of different type of feeling that you can get by visiting these interiors. And it's a great way to break away from chases. Like if you have people right. running after you and you want to escape, you cut through an interior, go through a window, you'll be faster than your enemies pursuing yourself, uh, that, that are pursuing you. So it's a great way to, to, to basically get away. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Just run up in that house. It's pardon me. Sorry about that. Oh! So this guy, he was a thief, so Alicia is actually completing the, the crowd oh. events. We got one right. crowd event complete. And the more you complete, then the more rewards that you're going to be able to get in the game, some unlocks as well. So. So the, in the toy, there's also different type of missions that you can play. Like we just we just passed ne right next to the Paris Stories. Paris Stories are basically it's what we had before that were, that were called contracts. Uh, contracts were always about killing someone. Well, the Paris Stories are more. Uh, that we try to tell a little bit to tell the revolution. So you'll get to meet famous people that took action in the, the revolution, and, and basically just on the side story, get to know a little bit more about them. 
so there's going to be pair of stories with Napoleon, for instance, uh, with uh, the Marquis de Sade, which played key roles in the revolution. But on their day-to-day -day dives, they had very interesting moments as well, and you'll get to know them uh, through the pair of stories. So this in terms of the factions, like right now you see I activated Eagle Vision uh, just because I wanted to show you that this is an example of our extremists, the guys who like are highlighted in red. So you'll see them wandering through the streets, but the minute you see an extremist, they know who you are as an assassin. So it's not a regular guard where they start going, oh, what is this guy up to? Like the minute you see an extremist, you want to get out of that area. Those guys have been really trained well. That's awesome. Yeah. And we have uh, other factions as well, sort of more the police uh, types of factions. So these guys, if you walk by them, they're not going to do anything. They're not going to stop you unless, of course, you're assassinating or doing some sort of illegal activity. But these factions as well, they really don't get along with each other. So it's something fun to play with with the faction. So maybe you'll want to attract like the extremists towards the guards, and then they're going to start fighting with each other. And then if you've got your allies as well, then you'll have other people as well who are going to help you. So it's just different types of characters that are in the crowd that you'll be able to play with. That's so cool, right? So not only is it like a living world, you guys just keep adding more elements to making it a living world where like the, the AI hates each other, they work with each other. It's really, it's really dynamic. You guys have made a living universe here. Yeah, if we take a look at the map here, this sort of just shows you a little bit of some of the stuff that's already been unlocked. So you could see sort of all the different activities that we can do. There's collectibles, there's uh, treasure hunts. It's stacked. Um, Guys, it's this stacked. is a huge map too. And it's actually, the, the reach high points will reveal any uh, co-op mission and heists that are present in this area. They'll reveal the, the, the fast travel. Uh, but you have to basically explore to reveal all the side story, the side element. We didn't want to just have to do like, okay, do the reach high point. You know.